Welcome to Work Smarter TV. I am Maarten and in this video I will show you how to set page breaks. A page break is an instruction for Excel to say, okay, stop here, print the next stuff on the next page. If we, you know, first we go to from home, this is the default one to the page layout and here you have the page breaks. First, we're gonna have a look at what it looks now. We're going here, if we click this icon, you will see that the yeah, the page setup area, or this is the scale to fit area, so the, the part of the ribbon, it expands and you get a bit more options. If we click print preview, we'll go to the print dialog and then we can see how it comes out of the printer. This is the first page and you can see one of five, so it needs five pages. This is the second, third, fourth, <laughs> and the fifth has a border of my of our, of our chart. All right. So you can see at this point, the page break is the end of the, the pages. They're all the one to uh, pages one to five. They're sideways, but like this. So there's an, uh, uh, there's a break here. This is the because this is basically everything that fits on one page uh, without scaling. Uh, you could of course make it smaller and have more fit, but um, have more data fit on a page. But like this, this is what fits. So Excel automatically determines, okay, so there's a page break here. And it would also, if we had more data going that way, it would have a, a page break here as well, but there's only, there's no data here in this case. Um, but we can do, we can say we want everything after opponent, we want to be on another page. So we select this row and we click breaks insert page break and now you can see it draws a line here it also draws a line here this dotted line but that that is the the page break that excel already uh, determined and needs to determine because this is what's what fits on one page and this is next here you can see the next one um, so it looks like we just added that but we didn't it just excel just shows it now and now you can see everything starting from Poland I said after Poland, but now it's starting on the next page with Poland. Uh, this will be on the second page. If we go again here and click print preview again, we can see that this is the first page, first page, and this is now the second page. It's going up, and now it's going to the uh, that one again. If you want to get what I mean, it's going down and then up again. Here is the top. Uh, next to the first page and here's the second one. and now we get a chart uh, you can change that as well by the way but I uh, don't know why you want that, we'll want that. Um, but now let's do it as I said we're gonna oh, somehow it stopped showing the automatic page break here but it's still there don't worry um, we said we wanted to have it after Poland so let's make that um, proper Select this one, go to breaks and say remove page break. This only works if you select something in the row under. You don't have to select the whole row, one cell is fine, but if we just select it, something here, it doesn't happen. And since the page break appears above the row we select, click here, breaks, insert break. And we can say, well, I only want to have 2001 on the first page, so insert break here. Now you see this one moved. There it is. This one moved there, and this one moved oh, moved along as well, because this is now the width of the second page. And just see how it went. Now this is our very simple and empty first page, second, third, etc. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. And if you want to receive updates on when I post a new video and receive tips and tricks on using Microsoft Excel better, you can click the button in the bottom right corner. This will take you to my website, worksmarter.tv, where you can subscribe to my mailing list. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.